Uploading. It happened on our soil. And that's irrelevant. Ambassador, with all due respect, we have a right to know what's going on here. You will be apprised of all pertinent information. The United Federation of Planets was a supranational interstellar union founded by the Tellurites, Andorians, humans, and Vulcans. This organization was founded with the purpose of expanding protections for all and to explore strange new worlds and new civilizations. The Federation expanded across the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, and ultimately into the Gamma and Delta Quadrants. While there were originally four founders, only two of these races seem to have any major influence on the affairs of the Federation throughout the centuries. The first one would be the humans, and the second one, the Vulcans. The question I pose to you today is, was the United Federation of Planets, in a way, a form of control by the Vulcan High Command to ensure that peace reigned supreme? Let's take a look at their role in historical events. When analyzing the Vulcans, we know that they are likely one of the most powerful governments in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants themselves. Historically, the Vulcans attempted to insert themselves into the various matters of competing species around them in order to quote-unquote keep the peace. Their extreme interest in Earth is probably one of the most obvious examples of them manipulating another species. They would do various things to impact events, such as quelling relations between Earth and the Klingons. They were using some kind of stealth technology. We're still analyzing our sensor logs. I'd like to see those logs. The Klingons made it very clear they want us to expedite this. It happened on our soil. That's irrelevant. Or influencing human opinions about the Andorians. And that's just off the top of my head. They kept a pretty short leash on the fledgling empire. In fact, the High Command had become so corrupt at one point that they were working behind the scenes with the Romulan Star Empire in order to bring unity between the two and have an edge over the Andorians while still attempting to manipulate the humans. In fact, the Vulcans admit that they feared humans and what they could become, which is why the Knife Ears went out of their way to hold the United Earth back. We don't know what to do about humans. Of all the species we've made contact with, yours is the only one we can't define. Are Vulcans afraid of humans? Why? Because there is one species you remind us of. Vulcans. Intentionally inhibiting the advancement of the humans. They would even send spies to assess the potential danger of influential captains like that of Captain Archer. Not to mention the Vulcan government consistently ensured that the United Earth followed what they said. Once the Vulcans discovered that the humans had an amazing knack for building communities, they surprisingly would begin to rally around the projects of the United Earth. Humans would soon become an intermediary to bridge the gap between the Vulcans and Andorians, and then go on to create the Coalition of Planets. This organization was, of course, a mutual defense coalition as well as a trade bloc. Thanks to Romulan aggression, the coalition would splinter, but ultimately the Tellurites, Andorians, humans, and Vulcans came together to defeat the Romulans and thus create the United Federation of Planets. After the formation of the United Federation of Planets, the Vulcans continued to play an integral role in the operations of both the organization and even Starfleet, which they claim not to have a lot of interest in. While there are a lot of small ways that we could talk about that impacted both the organization of the UFP as well as the two quadrants, the most well-known include the disarmament of the military aspects of Starfleet after the destruction of Quonos. Last month, at the behest of the Vulcan ambassador, I opened a dialogue with Gorkin, Chancellor of the Klingon High Council. Are we talking about mothballing the Starfleet? Well, I'm sure that our exploration and scientific programs would be unaffected, Captain. The meeting of the Romulan dissenters to look at a possible reunification of Vulcan and Romulus, as well as the Vulcan's dissolution from the Federation itself when the Federation stopped listening to them specifically. Throughout the centuries, Vulcan's influence over the Federation and Starfleet and indeed the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, is deeply pronounced. Which brings us back to the question that I posed at the top. Is this all on purpose? Were they attempting to keep control in various forms? I mean, it really does make sense. As early as the first interactions with the Klingons and Andorians, we're aware that the Vulcans were working to ensure that their sphere of influence stayed in a logical, peaceful order. 
Vulcans were not above subterfuge, not above lying, and not above manipulations to ensure that the status quo would stay, or even bend in their favor. All of this, of course, done in the name of peace. Is it possible that the Vulcans, seeing the community building abilities of the humans, quickly move to create a strong relationship with them and then use them to create the UFP ultimately? To create a federation that they could then manipulate to ensure continued peace and civility throughout the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. With a federation, they could stymie any potential advances of the Klingon Empire as well as the Romulan Star Empire. They could also enact policies that would ensure the civilizations under the banner of the UFP would have to abide by the way they saw things. Now this is a pretty small essay because it's just an idea and I could go into a lot of small examples, but I don't think I need to. I think the bigger ones show that there may be something here. Honestly, this was just a fancy because I was curious what you guys think, and I'll leave it to you. Tell me in the comments. Do you think the Vulcans, who definitively were orchestrating events before the Federation's existence, helped craft and form the United Federation of Planets so that they could keep a measure of control not only of their neighbor nations, but the quadrants themselves? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.